Hi everyone, James here from the XIR team, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite new features in our XIR Search 2026 Lightroom Classic plugin. I'm talking about the XIR Search panel, which makes it so much easier to access XIR's AI-powered search and culling tools, plus it just looks really sleek and cool. My goal here is to familiarize you with the panel and give you a sense of how you can use it so you have an absolutely seamless integration between XIR Search 2026 and Lightroom Classic. So let's get going. So here we are in the Lightroom Classic library module with the standard Adobe interface. If you've used previous versions of XIR, you'll know that the various XIR plugin functions are available under library, plugin extras, and you can still find them there. However, XIR Search 2026 actually offers a much more convenient way to access XIR tools, the XIR Search panel. Now there are a few methods for opening it here. You can just choose open XIR Search panel here. And if you want the panel to just automatically open when you launch Lightroom, you can go to File, Plugin Manager, find XIR Search here, and check this box, Open XIR Search Panel at Startup. But I actually prefer to just press Alt plus X on my keyboard or Option plus X on a Mac, which will bring up the panel and it's just an easy shortcut to memorize. Now, the XIR Search Panel can be configured in a few different ways. So first, there's a photo preview mode. That's toggled on here, this photo view option. And this offers a nice preview of the image you have selected in Lightroom, and it lets you move from image to image by pressing the left and the right arrow keys. It also shows the main XIR tools on the right-hand side here, which you can access by clicking. But if I tap this little arrow in the bottom right-hand corner here, the panel will collapse into a little strip of icons here, which I can just keep tucked away in the upper right hand corner of Lightroom. So that way I can access the same XIR tools without worrying about the panel getting in the way. Now let me just expand this again. And for now I'm going to place it side by side with Lightroom so you can see the two windows at the same time. Now I want to show you exactly which XIR tools you have available to you here. So if you hover over these icons, the names pop up. So there's prompt search, duplicate search, keyword search, face search, people search, and then similarity search or search by example photo. Then in this lower section, we have three more tools. These are all related to AI assisted culling, which is new in XIR search. And in the top right here, you have two different options for viewing photos in the panel. There's the photo view. That's what's selected by default and it's what you see right now. And then there's the culling cluster view, which is only available when you're running AI-assisted culling projects. At the top of the panel, you'll also see some useful tools. So we have these image sizing tools. You can zoom in, you can fill the window with your image, or you can fit the image to the window, or you can always drag the resizing slider if you like. What I think is really cool are these three tools here on the right. So there's a grid which you can toggle on and off and it's a nice way to check your compositions or to act as a quick reference point when you're deciding if a horizon line is straight. Now then these two other tools here, these are for photos that include faces. So let me just pick an image here. Let's scroll down here. So now that I've clicked on this group photo here in Lightroom, you'll see that each face is actually magnified on the right hand side here, which is a neat way to quickly check face sharpness or even to ID people who are small in the frame. And then with this middle icon toggled on, if I click on one of the magnified faces, the preview will zoom in to fill the display with that person's face. And if I hold Alt or Option, on a Mac and use the left and right arrow keys, I can move rapidly from face to face. Now let me zoom back out here. And then finally, we have this leftmost icon here, which highlights each face by adding a box around it. And what's great is that the color of the box corresponds to the level of sharpness of the face. Green boxes indicate 
sharp faces, red boxes indicate out of focus faces, and so on. And note that the, the color, the sharpness color, does also appear here next to the magnified views of people's faces. One thing I should mention, though, is that XIR does a better job of analyzing face sharpness when the image resolution is high. So it's important to ensure you choose a reasonably large preview size, which you can adjust in the Lightroom plugin manager. And if you're noticing lag when stepping from image to image in the photo preview mode, it can help to make sure that the XIR search panel preview size matches the standard preview size you have set in your Lightroom catalog. And it can also help to build previews in Lightroom before using the panel if you want to review lots of images. Now, I want to show you another cool capability that works with people photos here. So when a face appears on the right-hand side, as these have here, you can actually hit this little icon, which will run a people search on that specific face. So if you want to find other photos of that person in your catalog, you just go ahead and press the button, then adjust the search settings and hit start. In fact, you can make this even easier by right-clicking on the magnifying glass icon, then switching to search for people without dialogue. This lets you skip the people search dialogue completely and just run the search the moment you click. Now, one more thing I want to discuss here is positioning the panel on the screen. With the minimized version of the panel, you can just place it out of the way, but when the panel is expanded, it takes up a fair amount of screen real estate. So if you have a dual monitor set up, you can place the panel in one monitor and use Lightroom Classic in the other. But when you're working on a single monitor, I encourage you to experiment and find what works best for you. I like to use a split screen view, and if Lightroom feels too cramped, I'll minimize some of the side panels, like this, so I can easily work with both the Lightroom interface and the panel together. I hope you enjoy working with the XIR search panel. I love using it in my own workflow. Now, not every XIR tool is included in the panel. For instance, if you want to run a similarity search using an external reference photo, not a reference photo that already exists in your catalog, then you'll want to look under library plugin extras. But the main search tools are all present, and I found myself using the panel 99.9% .9 of the time. So if you haven't already tried it, open the panel and use it to run a few searches. Maybe preview some of your images. Not only will it save you a ton of time, but your experience will be so incredibly smooth. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, click that like button. And for more tips and tutorials on XIR's AI-powered photo management tools, subscribe to our channel.